If I could only give you one tip that would dramatically improve your ball striking right now, it would be this one. Tucking your trail arm as close as you can into your body. There's so much magic to doing this. It's going to fix your slice, it's going to fix your woods, your irons, everything. Bad contact, you name it. When you get that arm in close to your body, it tells your golf swing to make great ball striking happen. Shot after shot. Oh, that feels good. And I didn't do a whole lot of thinking because I'm talking to you on camera. Be able to swing like that and hit a shot like that, you know, most of the time you'd think it'd take 7,000 swing thoughts. But no, all I did was set this in and forget it. So why is this arm so magical? Well, for one, it stores power. So when you fold this arm, I'm fully loaded here, and then I explode this power on the golf ball. For two, it gets the wrist hinging without thinking. Look at that right there. Sometimes golfers try and keep their arms too straight. They don't get it tucked in. They don't get any wrist hinge. Three, takes care of the backswing. Got it tucked in, backswing takes the proper path. If it flies away, well, I don't know where these arms are going to go. You don't know where the club's going to go, so you don't know where the ball's going to go. Four, downswing. Keeping it tucked in, club goes on the proper path into the golf ball. If it flies away, club goes over the top. Steve, how many of you deal with that problem. I'm sure there's quite a few dealing with the slice issue. So we could end this whole problem today by just getting this arm tucked in. And lastly, the flips. Well, if you're flipping these hands through impact, my arm has to disconnect from my body to do that. If I just keep it in, boom, boom. There's the shaft lean. That stuff you're trying to get by doing all these superhuman moves, you don't have to, just keep it tucked in. Boom. So what do you do? You tuck the elbow in, and I'm saying elbow, not just arm. I'm talking this right here in as much as you can towards the target. You're going to connect your arm against your side, and when you do that, it's probably going to feel pretty weird at first. Now I'm super glued. Now as you swing, you just keep that super glue in there. So I'm going to do my shoulder turn, and I'm going to do my shoulder turn back to the golf ball. It's like I'm trying to keep an L shape in my arm the entire way. And by doing that, the club will respond beautifully. All the pieces of the swing will happen the way you want them to. And you don't believe me, try it right now. You should be doing it right now. What are you waiting for? This is gonna change your life. Once you got it glued in, keep it in. Don't change it. We're gonna hit some, sh some short shots first, keeping this glued in. Beautiful strike. Ball just explodes off the face and there it goes 100 yards. Barely touched it. That's what makes golf fun. We're not working too hard and the ball is just exploding through impact. So I'm going to take it up a little bit further here. Let's tuck it in even more. That was fun. So much fun. We'll do it again. There we go. Another good strike. That one went past the 150. And it's like swinging a feather, just nothing. Because the arm is doing the work for you. So we're gonna keep it tucked in here and we're gonna build it up then to a fuller swing. And even at the top of the back swing, I'm still feeling this as much as I can. And even when I start my down swing, I'm still feeling this as much as I can. I'm not changing it more, I'm not losing it. Never, don't lose it, keep it in. Here we go. Let's have some fun. Another good sounding strike. Kept the arm in and the ball just exploded down there towards my target. I love this because it's so simple. As humans, we overcomplicate the swing, but we don't have to. Keep the arm in and send it. Mm makes you want to hit more golf balls. <laughs> kind of got that golf addiction going. There it goes again. That's awesome. You're going to love it. You're going to be a new golfer because you went from elbow out to elbow in. And it's not going to take weeks. It's going to be instant. It's going to be like five minutes and you're a new golfer. There it 
There it goes again. Whew. Doesn't get any better than that. Another place where you're going to see a huge benefit with this is with the woods, and especially off the turf. You won't be chunking behind it or topping it. You'll be mashing it. Just keep it in. A lot of people with the woods get a little bit too over the top. And they flip at it, and the ball doesn't go where they want it to. So what you gotta do, just keep the elbow in. Never let it go. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Keep that elbow in and smoke it. So I'm talking about that just sounded great that was zero effort too zero and it's a hero just like that Greek food I love that stuff freshly cut mutton or veal not mutton get the veal oh that was that was flonged You just feel the, the club face collect the ball and explodes. And look, I'm getting a little bit of dirt there. So I'm hitting it right on El Centro of the club face. Whew. That is why we play golf. Doesn't get any better. In. You got to be in to be in. In the club. There it is again. Same spot. Works with a driver too. Can't hit driver today. Driving range is kind of capped at 280 and I don't want to hit all these people over there. We don't want to call in that artillery strike. All right, send it. Oh, that was free feeling. You have more confidence in your swing too when you're doing this because you feel like you can go at it. Now, I'm not trying to go rush into it. I'm just letting the swing happen. Shoulders back, shoulders through, and keep this glued in. Now, that's what's going on in my online golf school, Segudo.golf. It's a complete golf swing training program that gets you doing this stuff shot after shot. Elbow is part of the equation, but there's a few other pieces you need to know to start building up this machine. This will get you started, though. It's great. Keep it in and then send it. Oh my goodness, it does not get any better. Oh, sit down. Okay, thank goodness these are range balls. It's getting a little close to the people on the other side. So we're gonna put this down before the cops get called. And we're just gonna go back to my iron, yes. Back to the iron. It's going down there and, oh, thank goodness it's a range ball. It's getting close though. All right, what are we doing again? We're keeping the elbow tucked in. Why? Because it's fun. Why? Because it makes golf worth playing. Golf is life. There we go. Oh. We could do this all day. You don't have to be a pro to start feeling that. You just have to tuck the elbow in. If I got my elbow out, you would not be seeing strikes like that. You'd be seeing duff central. Just duff, duff, left, right, left, right. No. Tuck it in. Straight, straight, straight. Little baby draw. Tons of power. So thanks for tuning in today. Get that arm tucked in. Check out segudo.golf. You'll start playing the best golf of your life right now in a simplified program. And I'll see you in a future episode.